Hey guys, Dama here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this pink, orangey, yellow look. And to start off, I've already filled in my brows and primed my eyelids. And the first color I'm going in with is Coco Taxi from the Alamar Cosmetics palette. You guys, I am so in love with this palette. It came in my BoxyCharm last month and I've been using it ever since, almost every day. Amazing. And the very next color I'm going to dive into is Tropico. And this is this beautiful bright orange shade, which is perfect as my crease color. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over the crease in my inner corner and outer corner. I'm going to disperse that out as far as possible because this is going to be like my main transition shade. And then I'm going to pick up my Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to pick up this more vibrant orange because I do like when I do summer looks the colors to be a bit more vibrant. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that with Tropico to brighten up the eye a little more if that made sense. Then I'm going to go into this beautiful yellow and this color as pigmented as it is I swore it was so hard for me to continue building it like right now. It looks good, but as I apply other colors, they change up. So you'll see later in the video that I apply a couple more times because I want it to be very bright. Just like this pink. This pink is an amazing color in this palette, and I absolutely love it. And it's so pigmented and so creamy, it's amazing. Also, in case you guys were wondering what brush I was using, this is the Morphe M506. Now, moving on to concealer. And I am applying my concealer before foundation. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. And the reason why I'm doing this is because my under eye seriously needed some brightening. So I like to apply it when, it, when I feel that way. I like to apply it before the foundation and then I reapply it after foundation. It's just a technique that I feel that works for me. Just putting it out there in case you guys want to give that a try. And I am setting my uh, concealer with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And now I'm just going back with the same colors and I'm going to apply them all on my under eye. And to add more intensity, I decided to go back to Tropico in the Alamar Cosmetics palette and just add um, some more because I felt like it looks so much nicer if it's like a nice like smoked out orange that connects from the bottom to the top. Okay and for foundation I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation in the color Hazelnut. This is my all time favorite foundation at the moment and I'm sure you have guys seen me use it in several videos now but I'm just addicted. What can I say? <laughs> and um, for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Bare uh, Minerals Concealer as well. This is the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer, and this is in the color Tan. And I absolutely love this concealer because honestly, it feels so hydrating um, versus the Tarte Shape Tape that to me just feels a little drier. But that one has more of a full coverage and this one is more like a medium coverage. But I like them both very, very much. And when I do this technique, I like to use the mixture of both. Um, so now I'm just going to apply some setting powder all over my face. I applied some Laura Mercier in my under eye and then I'm applying the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Bake Powder Foundation all over my face to set the foundation and concealer and I am in the color mahogany or yeah tan or mahogany one of those two I can't remember right now. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with my palette again, and I'm just using the um, lightest shade in there. It's almost like this glittery pink color. I don't know what it's called. It's in the Morphe 35B palette, and I'm just applying that on my brow bone and in my inner corner. Then I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the color Blacker, and I'm going to apply that all over my top and bottom waterline and the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to apply any eyeliner um, well at the on my lid I don't want to apply an eyeliner 
but because I'm gonna be applying false lashes I want them to look a little bit more natural so in order for me to do so I need to apply some eyeliner and mascara to help avoid the space between it if that made any sense at all <laughs> and the mascara I'm using is my favorite the Lancome Monjour Big mascara this is the mini one I have two or three of the mini ones actually and I use them all the time and the eyelashes I'm using is the Huda Beauty Collection eyelashes and this is Jade these are my favorite actually my two favorite Huda Beauty eyelashes are Jade and the Samantha's they are beautiful I do absolutely love lashes so if you guys have any lashes you've tried out and you really really like let me know in the comment box below because I would love to give them a try if I haven't already and for contour today I'm using the black radiance pressed powder in rich mahogany I have been using this contour powder a lot lately well I've been using it as a contour powder you could use it as whatever you want but, but I love it because it's rich and creamy and it only costs five bucks at Walgreens and talking about five bucks at Walgreens I actually purchased this uh, elf cosmetics baked powder highlight for four dollars might have not been Walgreens I think I purchased all of it at CVS I know I did a drugstore haul and makeup review so if you guys want to go check it that out it's a few videos back but um, it was definitely very cost effective and the pigment is amazing. And here I am just jamming out because when you're Hispanic, that's what salsa does to you. <laughs> and now I'm going in with Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Hawkwind. And I'm topping it off with Hard Candy Plumbing Serum in the color second base and that is it guys that brings us to the end of my video i really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe before you leave thank you guys so much for watching and continue enjoying your summer bye guys